as you can see, I've painted my uh, rotor blades and they are a little rough because of the paint. Whenever you put paint on it, it kind of swells the fibers up and they get a little rough. So I'm going to take a, one of these green scrubbing pads and just um, I'm putting the, the blade back onto the wood dowel so that it supports it. Gives it some strength while I, I sand it lightly. hard to do the inside so I pretty much concentrate just on the outer the upper portion of the blade it's the most important part anyway if you want you can try to sand the inside it doesn't hurt a little, a little bit more difficult though. The part where we put the mesh on, you, you can sand all day and you're never going to make that smooth, so don't even worry about that. Okay. So um, before we can put the blades on, we have to make sure that they all balance. And for that, it really helps to have a scale. Um, you can make a balance out of like some paper cups and some string and a piece of a wooden dowel, you know, like you balance that and then put string with some cups on to weigh these things. Um, I happen to have a little scale here, so I'm just gonna put them on the scale. Let's see if you can see that. Um, so this blade here doesn't want to weigh at all. It's so light. That one's 0.7. That one's 0.8. These are about the same. They're all about the same. That's actually good news. Actually, it's bad news. Um, so now we balance them on our finger. So I'm going to balance the blade on my finger because they need to balance and weigh the same. So that's where it balances, right there. And I'm going to put a mark right there. That's where it balances. So if I... Okay. Now, let's see where that one balances. It's very rare that they all balance in the same spot because of the density of the wood. Pretty close. Let's see if they both balance in the same spot. Oh, man, that's really good. Usually they don't. This is different from um, the other two helicopters that I did, the Gyro Chaser and the Rotary Revolution. I didn't do them this way, and I should have, because this is the better way to do it. Um, and the bigger blades, they usually don't balance. And these are all like going to be so good. So what happens if they don't balance? So wait, what you do is you find the lightest blade, and you're going to add weight to it, to make it equal to the heaviest blade. And so that's what the clay is for that comes in the kit. And it's going to be a very small amount, probably like about that for blades this small. And then you're going to put it onto the blade and adjust its position back and forth so that it balances at the same spot as the heavy blade. And then you do that for the, the blade that's in the middle so that they all weigh the same and they all balance in the same spot. Um, and when you do this, when you put the clay on, what I recommend is to put 
a little bit of um, thin super glue in the spot you're going to put the clay because the clay doesn't stick to the raw wood very well, but it will stick to where you attach super glue. So you can push it down and then it's going to stay and it's not going to fall off when you flip it over. But since my blades are all equal, I don't really have to do that. So that's how you balance them. Um, in the next video, um, we're going to attach these blades to the hub and then we're pretty much done. So until the next video.